Whiskey Advent Day 23 with the Scotch Whiskey Advent Calendar 6 edition on Monday, December 23, 2019. What malty morsels are we going to find inside? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. Merry Christmas, my whiskey friends. Mark here at Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Elkhorn Resort in Manitoba, bringing you the Scotch Whiskey Advent Calendar 6 edition for Monday, December 23rd. Let's get that open, shall we? Get my little pog. Got it. And let's get that out. Got it. All right, what do you see there? Ooh, I see a high number. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, is it a 21? I see 21. Oh, I'm so excited. What is it? Glenn Spay, 21 year old. So awesome. Glenn Spay, 21 year old, single malt scotch whiskey from A.D. Rattray. Distilled in 1997. So bottled in 2018, maybe 2019. This is in a sherry butt. That's a big butt. 59.2% ABV cask strength, cask number 5980. And the region is Speyside. This is super awesome because Glen Spey is rather hard to get over here in Canada. Now they operate under the name of simply Spey um, in their own branding. And they've got a very unusually shaped bottle, which is interesting and maybe smart marketing, but I think sometimes classic is best. So here we have a Glen Spey 21 year old, and I'm gonna put that back up there just so I don't knock it off again. Well, let's get that Glen Spey open and poured. Again, remember a butt is bigger than a barrel or than a puncheon, etc. So you're dealing with a larger volume, hence you have less wood per volume of liquid. Oh, oh, I went a little, whoops. <laughs> I went a little heavy there. Well, I'll enjoy that tonight after I finish up this review. All right, so let's get into this AD Rattray Glen Spey, 21 year old. First of all, let's have a look at the color of the whiskey. What do you see there for color for this Glen Spey? Rather light, isn't it? Maybe like a lighter gold? Let's have a look. Yeah, like a 10 or 14 karat gold. Gorgeous, all natural, that's what you want. And whatever color that comes out, that is to be enjoyed in and of itself, not compared with other colors. Sometimes you'll get the best whiskey ever coming with the lightest possible color. And we've seen that happen here in the Scotch Whiskey Advent Calendar 6 edition. Let's have a look at the legs for Glen Spey 21. I'm guessing these are gonna be real beefy, beefy legs. Okay. Fairly brisk first legs, but look at how slow and trickly the secondary legs are. And they are so heavy, syrupy looking. Well, I have high hopes for this. I've heard there are exciting things coming normally in the last few days of the Scotch Whiskey Advent Calendar. All right, under the nose. Beautiful dried fruit basket. Fresh orchard fruits, stone fruits. Some beautiful herbal notes. And sweeter flower notes. There is a polished oakiness about this as well. Kind of like church furniture.
I get a slight, light, little tiny little bit of leather here. It's like a beautiful fruit medley. Well, let's get onto the palette. Cheers, folks. We've got beautiful dried fruits here. Mackinac peach. <laughs> Just kidding. No, peach. Beautiful peach. Really, really, really ripe peach. The, um, the freestone kind. A fruit salad. You've got watermelon. You've got pineapple. A little bit of Korean chamoy melon. They're kind of like little tiny honeydew. They're white, delicious, with a yellow skin. Peach, chamoy melon, pineapple, some very nice ripe apple, sweet apple. There's a little bit of sweet mandarin orange here as well. Some dry persimmon. Some underripe mango. And lots of dried apricots. A little bit of light raisins. Some fresh, juicy plums. This is just a big, big, big basket of fruit. Mm. The finish is fruity and dry. It's long. The mouthfeel is very coating. And the finish as well, we have that little bit of leather coming, coming back again, which is nice. Beautiful. All right, let's add some water. Boy, I really, I really did a number on that. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's stop at ten. All right, let's see how this Glen Spade 21 year old does with a little bit of water added. Oh, yeah, way more leather now. And that is something that I just love. I love that in a nose, a whiskey nose. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants a leathery nose. <laughs> uh, a little bit of Saskatoon berry. But baked in a pie where the seeds kind of become kind of like almondine. Oh yeah, beautiful. Saskatoon berry pie here. Oh, this is just gorgeous now. What? Oh, cannot believe this. This is total Saskatoon berry pie. Saskatoon pies are a huge thing in my family. The trick is to get wild Saskatoon, so you have to go places where you know they grow around the time when you know they, they should be ready. It's even kind of like got that crusty, baked, buttery, well, lard, lard, pie crust type of a nose here. Truly enjoyable. All right, the palate with water then. Cheers. I'm salivating. I really want to try this again. We've got the Saskatoon pie coming in in the palette. We still have all of these other fruits there. And the finish also. More leather. More pie. Everybody likes more pie, right?
I can't believe how fast I'm consuming this. Slow down, take your time. I'm really loving the way this has gone from great to excellent. And since I like the way things are going with water added, I want to add a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, Ooh, six. All right. More pie, a little bit more leather. It's toned down the dryness and everything else is still there. So in my books, that's great. I could probably do with five more drops of water, but we're gonna stop here. Hmm. Beautiful. Now I would bet if this was a Weems malts bottling and if the taster happened to be from Canada, especially from the prairies, then it might be called Saskatoon pie. Yeah. All right. The Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Glen Spay, 21 year old from A.D. Rattray. What is that going to be, folks? It's going to be 93 out of 100. You heard it, 93 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Glen Spay, 21 year old, that Saskatoon Pie has won me over, and this is now tied, as you know, it's tied for first place with Ben Rennes. Boy. Hmm. And it's still changing. And it's still improving. Gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Well done. Well chosen. Cindy and Jonathan, excellent job with that one. Now, let me know your thoughts on this bottling on this Glen Spay. Leave it here on YouTube or on Twitter or on Facebook or Instagram. Share your thoughts. Tell me your tasting notes. How does this rank for you? Here we are on December 23rd, the 23rd day of Whiskey Advent, and we have only two days left here now for the Scotch Whiskey Advent calendar in 2019. So, boy, I think this is mind-blowing, but please tell me your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the link right over here and hit the bell right up there, ding, ding. That way you're notified of the future Whiskey Whistles. If you've been watching lots of Whiskey Whistle, why not jump in and support the channel on Patreon and join the Whiskey Whistle crew? Patreon.com backslash Whiskey Whistle. I'll see you there and we'll see you for Christmas Eve. Goodbye now.